By default, Synchro is set up to start the schedule from the day that you're making this that you're making your schedule. So I'm making this recording on October 1st, so my schedule defaulted to October 1st, 2012 as my schedule from date. Now that's very seldom the case. Usually you're either scheduling in the future, hopefully, or you're going back and create a schedule, creating a schedule for the past as an as-built schedule. Um, the way we modify these dates is to go to project in our navigator. If the navigator is closed, um, for instance, if you had hit the X on this, you can get to it by this either this blue icon here in the Windows menu as navigator or that control left bracket. So at the top is the project section of the navigator. So you may have both sections closed down like this. So click anywhere in this in this header. You don't have to click just on this little button. You can click anywhere on the header and it pops up. So um, I'm also going to close the task properties here. Resource in 3D. And we can see that there is project date zero. Um, we'll get to that in just a little bit. So I'm going to scroll down first, and I want to say that I'm going to schedule from my data date. So if I schedule from project start, that's going to schedule from wherever the first pro first project start date is, and then with the default being today's date. Um, then I could do a selected date, but by and large, we want to do data date. There's a few reasons for that. So then we have to go up and change our data date to manual. Otherwise, the data date will always be whatever day it is today, um, the day that you're working on your schedule. So if we change this to manual, we can activate our calendar control. And so let's say I'm going to be scheduling this for next Tuesday, October 16th. We see that the little blue line over here moved toward October 16th. Um, the red line is our focus time, and we can just move that out of the way. So once I've moved my day to date ahead to October 16th, all the logic in my schedule is going to pop everything forward um, based on this red line like a rubber band. So I hit reschedule, and everything is going to move forward. All right, and so all the tension gets taken out of the, out of that rubber band. There's no more more no more uh, red in it. So again, if I move this to October 30th and hit reschedule, you'll see it just it can keep moving forward. Now, if I want to go to a different month, the way that these calendar controls work, um, if I hit the double arrow, that goes to 2013. It advances a year. One, the single arrow, that goes forward a month. The other way to navigate in this calendar control is to left click and hold the date and then I can scroll to whatever month I want and then if I wanted to go to February I would just continue moving my mouse down and my cursor is going to it's all going to scroll up and down I'm keeping my left mouse button held and I'm going to go to February 13th and say February 12th I hit reschedule and then the whole thing jumps forward to 212 of 13 that is how to set up your project dates Thanks.